Hello audience, Vadiwa here, and welcome to yet another episode of Follow From Modern View Boopocalypse, the most wonderful modern view ever. Right my character is supervising her followers. Her followers Kate, Piper, and Curry are trying to help these poor little mirrorlurks here. However, I think they are going to need another outfit that's much more better suited for an aquatic environment. We have independently equipable bikini heels and stocking CBBE body slide by Bumex and New Miller and it's a bikini mod that shows off all of your curves. Now the bikini outfit has three parts to it. We have the main bikini, the stockings and the gloves. And every single part of the bikini can be customized at the armor workstation. Now at the moment, I'm showing you guys a few of the many different patterns and colorations for the main bikini outfit. And the bikini is actually ported from Skyrim and I do remember featuring the bikini and as well as the other parts of the bikini for my Skyrim mod review. And here are the different variations for the stockings and I do love my die high stockings. You can try to find one that matches your bikini or you can go crazy with it and find some kind of a strange combination. The heels can be changed to a different color which is great and what can be better than die high stockings and heels. And finally there is the same kind of variations for the gloves that can be implemented. The most obvious thing is that the bikini has its own body preset which makes your assets a lot more bigger, yes indeed. It looks like you have like a pair of very big watermelons that's ripe for the picking and I do love watermelon, it's like one of my favorite fruit guys. Only seedless those, you know, just because I'm kind of lazy with seeds I don't want to spit that out, I kind of like seedless water watermelon but okay. <laughs> The bikini can be crafted at the chemistry station and you know what guys, you know what, I want you guys to tell me what does the titties and the ass remind you of. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of crazy imagination you guys have. Anyways, my followers are doing a very good job of taking care of the mealworks, however, working in a place that has very high radiation is kind of dangerous. Remy needs to wear something that provides a little bit more protection. We have the competition swimsuit CBBE body slide by Aubrey and Shimaniku and the swimsuit that is worn by high school schoolgirls. Now the competition swimsuit is a one piece outfit that's seen in a lot of anime, usually worn by schoolgirls that compare each other's boob size and then afterwards they make fun of the one that has the smallest assets or maybe they make fun of the girl that has the biggest boobs. Now there's also a few options in coloration and patterns for the swimsuit. Usually it is a bright color, now my favorite one is the purple one and the light blue one. Now some of them even have Japanese words on it. And then there's another set of swimsuits, uh, these ones have the word speedo on them and let's be honest guys, I think the word speedo should be written across the titties, you know, one on each titties, and a big giant one right above the butt kind, kind of like a tramp stamp. Now that would be a much more better marketing strategy. Now do you guys not agree? Now it looks like the Mirlurks are healing very well and oh no, what is this? It looks like the retro gaming enemies from a few episodes ago are attacking us. Oh no, all of our hard work and tender loving care is going down the drain. They are killing the Mirlurks. Now we are going to need some guns and explosives. Right here we have the Chayapa Triple Dread, a triple barrel shotgun by Doom and a shotgun where having three barrels is better than having two. Now basically it's a double barrel shotgun with another barrel on top. Now it's a breech loading shotgun and to be honest I would probably add another barrel to make it four barrels and why not guys, why not? Or even five barrels, make it five or ten or twenty. The shotgun has a few different mods that can be added. There are three different barrel lengths from long to saw off and then right here we can see that we have a few different muzzles and interestingly there is a suppressor on the shotgun, you know, a three barrel shotgun with suppressor on each barrel. Now right now we can observe the different paint jobs and camel patterns for the shotgun and I really like the zebra one which is the black and white one and if we are going to be blowing away someone with a shotgun like this we might as well make it, you know, do it in style. At the moment, I want you guys to take note of the animation and sound effect as I fire the Chayapa shotgun. I 
I really like the reloading animation, here it is in slow motion. Rebby here is reloading in third person view. She is loading in one shell first and then she is loading two shells. Now in first person view it's a little bit different, you load all three shells at the same time. Now we can also go with something that can offer the same protection but in a much more smaller package. We have the CBJMS personal defense weapon by Doom and it's a weapon that you and your bodyguard should have for protection. Now I think I'm going to be calling the weapon PDW for short. It has a telescopic stock for better stability and a forward hand grip for better control. Now it's a very compact and very sexy looking weapon. And naturally there are a few camo patterns and colors for the PDW. The coloration and patterns kind of make the PDW look like it belongs in a sci-fi movie. It can be tricked out to have a stock, a drum magazine, better sights, and even a suppressor. It looks very intimidating. It looks like something that a special forces would use. Now right here I will be finding the PDW, I will be using the semi-automatic version, an automatic version, and a tricked out PDW. Okay, maybe we need something that has a little bit more firepower. We have the remote explosive, C4 with detonators and more by fading signal and it will make everything go away with a click of a button. Now right here we have a bundle of C4 explosive. It looks like a big block of explosive that can pretty much take out an entire settlement or a vault. Ooh, that's tight. What's that? It's C4. The detailing on the C4 is pretty good for something that's gonna, you know, blow up. And then here is the pulse charge. It looks like it's a bundle of C4 except that it has a few more circuitry on top and a canister of pulse energy. It is going to be good for taking out mechanical enemies. And finally, this is my favorite, the IED. The IED has a gasoline canister, a bag of fertilizer, grenade, and a clock taped to it. Now, I'm not quite sure why we need a clock since it's kind of remotely detonated. And then the bag of fertilizer also has like shrapnel embedded in it for maximum carnage. Now all the explosives can be detonated with a detonator and it's kind of very neat because well it kind of changes the gameplay a little bit and it adds a new way to play. You can maybe, oh I don't know, you can maybe lay down a trap, you know, put like a C4 in the middle of a road and watch an enemy walk over it and you know, see him go kaboom, you know, it's it, you do it, you know, you click on a button you end their life. Now you can also reverse pickpocket a bundle of explosive onto an unsuspecting NPC and you know, it'll make them go kaboom as well. Now there's plenty of things to do, you know, just use your imagination. Anyways, I think this is it for this episode of Full of Fur Mod Review. If you enjoyed, make sure to bang that like and subscribe button, bang a good. I'd like to take a few more of my Patreon supporters, you know, thank you Daniel Boone Brabun, thank you Anthony, and thank you Mr. Mangar. You know, I wanted to ask you guys, have you three done anything weird with the thumbnails I sent you? You know, I'm just wondering guys, you know, you could do whatever you want with them, but you know, I'm just wondering if you, you know, you know did something with them. But anyways, um, I do hope that the retro gaming enemies are gone now. We need a new enemy in the future for a plot device to get the story moving along. Well then, stay sexy my friends, stay sexy.